Bajas Unboxing. I'm a 24 year old gal who loves toys and I encourage you to love what makes you happy. On today's episode, I'm going to be transforming from my usual pastel kawaii style into this goth transformation. So if you would like to see the process of this look, please keep on watching. To start off, I already have my contacts in and I have primer on. So let's just get started. First thing that I'm going to be doing today is eyebrows because I'm doing black eyebrows and it's a lot easier to just do eyebrows first whenever I'm working with black eyeshadow because it's a lot harder to clean up. So that's what we're going to start with. For my eyebrows, I'm going to be using an angled brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to be using this palette from Too Faced. And the shade that I'm going to be using is the black shade in here called French Tickler. and my concealer to clean that up because it looks a little wild right now. <laughs> On to foundation. For foundation, I'm going to be using Revlon's Colorstay Foundation in 150 Buff. I've been using this since high school, so that's what we're going to be using today. I'm going to be using my airspun powder to set that all in place. Now that we're done with the face, we're going to be moving on to contour. I'm using the Forever Nude Contour Palette from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to be using this dark shade right here. I'm obviously going very heavy handed with this because. We're doing really intense makeup today anyway, so it's not a big deal, and if it's too dark, I can always put powder over it to tone it down. Romantic Rose. For eyeshadow, I'm 
I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette and I'm going to be using these two shades right here. I'm going to be using the lighter purple on my lid. not my favorite part which is eyeliner I hate doing eyeliner it's very difficult but we're going to give it our best shot I'm going to try to do a thicker wing than I would normally do just because we have a very intense makeup look today and I feel like it would suit the makeup much better than my usual wing <laughs> favorite part which is eyelashes these are the house of lashes eyelashes in iconic while my eyelashes are drying I'm going to be doing highlighter and this highlighter is from AOA studio and it is in the shade crazy lipstick in trick now 
once the lips are done, it's time to get into the fun part, which is hair, clothes, and accessories. I asked you all on Twitter what wig I should wear, and you all voted for Wine Red with 46%. So the next time you see me, I will be completely done with this transformation. justice. I've been researching goth styles and everything so that I could be as accurate as possible but I did obviously put a little bit of my own twist on it because I wanted it to feel like something that I would be comfortable in if I was goth and I just love it. I think it's really really cute and I feel very ready for Halloween right now even though it's only September. I love this so so much. I feel very sexy honestly and I don't usually feel like that because obviously I tend to dress a lot more cutesy but I really really love this I'm so obsessed with it before I forget the headband is from flower children only the hair clip is from creepsville 666 the choker is from nickylipstick.com the dress is from hot topic and the wig is from lock shop wigs by the way, this look is inspired by Glitterbat on Instagram. I will put all of her information down below in the description box. Definitely check her out because her looks are phenomenal. They're so, so amazing. So definitely check that out. Please let me know if there's any styles or aesthetics that you would like me to film next. I love doing these transformation videos and I would love to do another one. I'm thinking of doing pastel goth next, but if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I would love to have you as part of my dollhouse family. We do a lot of fun things here including unboxings, reviews, transformations, fashion videos, and all kinds of things. So if that's something that you're interested in, please be sure to subscribe because I would love to have you as part of the family. All that being said, thank you so much for playing in the dollhouse today. I had so much fun doing this transformation video and I'll see you next time. Bye!